There it is. We are live. How exciting. Game 82. Who would have thought we would have made it this far? It's great. My Wi-Fi just shuts off as soon as we go live. That's really cool. I feel like Welcome you. Welcome to my world. <laughs> it's tough. Uh, what a fucking mess. Oh, you got a pen? Or a pin, rather? Pin, yeah. Jealous. Give him out. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome in. Early game, early game. Well, late game for Tim, but thanks for sticking with us, Tim. <clears throat> Appreciate you. Appreciate you. We are here. We are live. We are ready for Mike Corman Day. Big Mike Corman Day in the city of Boston. Hello, Rui. Welcome in. What's up, Rui? Hello, Eli. Hello, everybody. <clears throat> What is this? Hmm. We got a dance team instead of court. Who's playing? No, not a lot. <laughs> Nobody jacking. None of the top six. No Jalen. No Jason. No Drew. No Derek. No Chris Stops. No Al. None of that. Good. Yeah, I don't know if I'm ready for either. Good. 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 I mean, oh, they gave out bobbleheads today too. I didn't see them, but probably. Uh, Birkin, I think the obvious answer is Chicago or Atlanta, but realistically, you want one of Indy or Orlando. I think that's that's the ideal version. It is a huge day around the association. Mm. Uh, if you missed the pod today, I don't know what you're doing. But, again, if you did, we went through and discussed all of the possible outcomes that would result in the Celtics pretty much getting the most Mickey Mouse walk to the conference finals you could ever have. Yeah. And the the answer is there's really not a lot of combinations that will result in that, but it is possible. I think there's three total outcome combinations that would result in Miami, Philly, uh, both out of the plane, mm-hmm. and then there's more of them that result in them being 6-7, <clears throat> which is the most ideal. Um, answer for... Rui, sorry, I'm looking at the email. Um, what festivities? I can share my screen. You guys can just look at what I got. So this is the press email that we got. Um, <clears throat> this should be a halftime celebration, uh, oh, nice. formal honoring, uh, video montage, speeches from Celtics ownership, an exclusive interview with Gorman led by Scal, and other special surprises. Today's going to be his last call of a regular season game, but it'll come into his career um, <clears throat> for the playoffs beginning April 20th. So he will be in there for at least the first round of the playoffs. So, yeah, they're going to honor him at halftime. It sounds like. What a day. I mean, it's a yes, cool sir. thing. At least it adds something to be excited about to this final game against the Wizards, who uh, yeah. I literally couldn't care less about. I mean, fuck the Wizards. Chatter is Sam. I can't tell. Oh, okay. It's probably me. I don't know. I didn't get the Wi-Fi symbol, so it's the only reason I asked. Um, thank Damn, you, Eli. No, we appreciate uh, you. <laughs> thank you. No Ooh, Celtic Bulls starting today? five today. Did, did you see the Celtic starting five? Don't look if you didn't. I just pulled it up, yeah. Because uh, I wanted to see who was playing for Washington. Big day for Walsh. Jordan, <clears throat> Jordan Walsh gets the start. First start. Ever. I mean, are, are these guys stupid? Like, they have a big game tomorrow. <laughs> Gonna run them into the ground before they're. It's not their decision, buddy. They don't make the lineup. They don't make the lineup. Who do, who are you referring to when you say they? The players. No, I'm talking about the people making the lineup. Make the lineup. Joe doesn't give. He's a fuck. 19. Somebody he asked him yesterday. Fry, he said no. Fry young he legs. Says, Isn't this this is coming from the same person who said the more you play, the better off you are. Aren't you, like, wholeheartedly against load management, you bum? I am, but what I'm saying is they have a game tomorrow. You want a, chi- a winner-take-all game. You'd like fresh legs. I I do believe in repetition and, and using your muscles and stuff. But also, so you think they should load manage them today? Load manage is not the word. It, it's, it's ensure freshness. Load management is more of, like, preventing injury. This is more like we have a big game tomorrow. Let's make sure we are a hundred percent like not tired. And this is more about fatigue so and not injury. So when they sit Horford on the start end of a back to back, it's not load management. For him, it's different. They're trying to prevent injury. 
<laughs> I think load management is preventing injury. Like the whole purpose, preventing like, what, easing the stress yeah, but, so you don't get injured and so you're fine. I'm not talking about injury. I'm saying the main Celtics <laughs> players, including Jordan Walsh, have a winner take all game tomorrow. Wouldn't you Correct. not want them playing a billion minutes today? I, I don't think it matters. <laughs> I think they're fine. Oh, over 24 hours to recuperate. They're fine. My my stance on load management okay. is if you're doing it from an injury standpoint, like trying to prevent injury, you're not going to benefit from not using those muscles. But if you're trying to ensure that you're fresh for a big game, it's a little different. So you think Al's load management is bad? No. Uh, you lost me. I don't. It's care. different. Keep the conversation going. <laughs> Uh, and they they don't just rest him like at random games. It's like back. I think he's fine. Stuff. Yeah. I think it's fine. I don't think it matters. I think it's all right. <clears throat> They've got uh, today's an early game. Tomorrow's nine p.m. It's fine. It's from nine it's p.m. Fine. It's unreal. He might just play the first half. Now nah, they're gonna play him the whole game. Joe doesn't care. Somebody asked Joe earlier, um, and he was like, uh, he was like, nah. If they're here, they're gonna play. They gotta be ready. If they're here, they're playing. <laughs> Big day for the for the main boys. Oh, uh, the Hawks what? will not be signing Vit Krejci. Really, not after that big game he had against our boys earlier in the month. Who tweeted that? Lauren L. Williams, Bobby Manning retweeted. That's so weird. It's playing well for them. That's interesting. Sucks for Vit Krejci. Mike Gorman hanging them up is a tough one. To Losing that. Tommy was the worst, but officially the end of a great era. Can't believe we are stuck with Scal now. <laughs> uh, tough. Uh, I don't think Jordan Poole's playing, Mario. I have to double check, but him and Kuzma haven't been playing the last few games. Maybe mm. they're giving the other guys some run because it doesn't matter anymore. <clears throat> Hello, RJ. So they're they're not doing anything pregame for Mike Gorman, other than probably the owners saying something. No, no, I don't think so. They'll probably do it like right before the game during starting lineups, but no. <clears throat> that is one of my biggest things. I never introduced myself to Gorman. I don't know if I'll ever get the chance to, but it's just, I don't. I never want to when like, he's busy because he's always like talking to somebody. So I'm not gonna like insert myself. The few times <coughs> I've gone, I haven't even seen him. He eats in the cafeteria. He'll yeah. be in there. No, I mean, I Sometimes. can imagine. Superiors Jordan and playing this game. <laughs> Superiors Jordan. <laughs> hmm. Shout out Jay Walsh. They're doing something with Gorman right now at center court, but it's not like on the Jumbotron or anything. I don't know what it is. They hand Our like Aussie a friends. Or a, a, a something sign. All right, is this game fuckery for you guys? What time is it there? 1 a.m. It's got to be like 3 in the morning. No, I think it's 1 a.m. Tim Preston was here earlier. He said it's 1 1 a.m. start. 1 a.m. starts brutal. I've been there. I've been there. (laughs) Do it do with those games and also Ben, why didn't you guys tell us we were up for an award? Yeah. No one told us. Thank you for including us. (laughs) Honor to be nominated. (laughs) Those of you in the UK, this must be nice, but the Aussies. Getting, getting the jab today, but they get yeah, a very good nice. draw most of the time because they get like 10 a.m. games. Mm. I'd love to see some more corn trips, not a cereal with cornet made threes. I... Oh my god, Ben, what the I... hell? Do you live Psycho. in Fiji, Ben, or are you just away? I think he's away. There's no way. I yeah, I think, I think he's just traveling. That could be wrong. I saw a clip of my phone. I think I think they handed, Sam said they're handing him out today. I didn't see any though. I saw. <laughs> Maybe I think I saw the same clip as RJ. They had Gorman at the little uh, desk that they put in the concourse, and they had bobbleheads. Hmm. Gorman was this sitting was there with the bobbleheads. You get your money's. That's funny. If you buy a ticket. Yeah, this is clearly. Yeah. Oh, I'm tired. Vacation. Fiji. I'm Respect. on vacation, but I'm not missing Gorman Day. Respect. Fair. They should have Gorman get introduced. I'm kind of mad I don't get to, to Gorman Day. But. 
He says he's going to steal one of his bobbleheads on the way out. Fire. What a nice thing they're doing. Oh, he's frozen. Oh, boy. Rui says, for your tickets, you're not seeing them in six, but you are getting your money's worth with the Gorman merch. I'll tell you that. Poor Jack. The Garden did have to cheap on a Wi-Fi ever since they signed Drew Holiday to this extension. Celtics, they got nothing for Jack. It happens. It happens to the best of us. Welcome back. Nope. Oh, tough. Pete says, my dad bought me some crappy tourist trinkets from Suva, Fiji, back in the 70s, 80s. <laughs> I switched to the hotspot. I think we're good now. It's brutal. Right. I feel for you. Having it's, been in, yeah, in, the, in the trenches of the shitter net, I, I can respect. I think Mike Gorman's <laughs> holding his granddaughter, or what I assume to be his granddaughter. Oh, so Gorman's no, hanging no, out at no, half no. court. What? Oh, uh, fire DM com incoming, Jack. Do you just like scroll through Reddit and stuff when we're doing shows, like random shit? <laughs> like, what are you well, I, have tw I have Twitter on my top screen, so this was on my timeline. <laughs> I just, I'm looking for like updates on different things we could talk about. I swear, like 40% of the time that I'm talking, I just see you start laughing. And I just have to go, what? <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> oh. oh, Jesus Christ. You got to turn it off. <laughs> you can't be looking. Jack loves the little Yachty edits. That's his favorite thing. <laughs> They're my favorite. I love them. The yeah. tips one is still the best. I saw, I forget who it was. I think it was either Ben or Jake or Spoonie. I think it was the first on the floor. I forget which one of you guys posted it. But the caption was Joe Mazzullo when it's time to watch the town again. And that was the best one I've seen. That's the best yes. one. Yes. It's a good one. <clears throat> I love it so much. I meant to show it on the pod, but I forgot. Oh. Worldwide Wob has done his uh, league pass menu for the final day. Yeah, so he had not good. he has the Celtics, Rockets, and Clippers, and Pistons at Spurs as the lowest rated games at uh, 40, 55, and twenty five respectively. And all three are yeah, described as just cardio, and then Pistons Spurs is cardio without Wemby. <laughs> Pretty well, much. The Bucks are sitting Giannis because he's actually hurt. Like he legitimately hurt. Yeah, himself. Giannis is actually hurt. Birkin, we don't want to see Orlando beat the Bucks. Mm, no, all of the I think good it depends. dominoes begin to fall with an Orlando Magic loss. No, I think there's one where it's all right. Yeah, there's I'm one. Sure but there's, there's one several. Where it's okay, there's several where yes. if they lose. No, it's, no, I know it's the best. It's not ideal, but it's not like if the Magic win, it's not like a life ender. Like there are still some like like if the Magic win, <clears throat> you can still get a Pacers Heat seven eight, so you could still have a chance at that. But then it's Bucks and Sixers and four five, which is not ideal. Um, mm -hmm. But there are some options where it's like all right, but a Bucks win is what the Celtics or Celtics fans should be rooting for, for sure. I'm rooting for you know what I want. I was talking with Noah and Bobby <clears throat> before the game. I need Philly first round, New York second round, because then I would save a lot on flights. <laughs> That's what I want. Selfishly. Are you going to away games? I'm gonna try to go to all of them. That's the goal. Wow. Tis the goal. And you don't even like to fly. I absolutely it's maybe my least favorite thing in the world. Respectfully fuck your wallet. I want the easy wins. Sure. And hey, if it is in Orlando, I'm not gonna be complaining. I'll go I'll go hang out in Florida for a week. That's fine with me. Go to Disney. <laughs> I'm okay with that. Yeah. I don't know. Disney's all right, but I don't like rides because I don't like you don't like rides at so all? I, they make me sick. I don't like them. I've told the story before. Yeah, you have. I, I don't I can't believe I forgot. <clears throat> yeah, not a fan. Not a fan. I'm not a big adrenaline guy, as you guys can tell. <laughs> I just like what I like hanging out. <clears throat> See Eli gets it. I want to see Miami Jack. Miami Jack would look scarily similar to Golf Jack. Just polo, some shorts, hanging out. Steve Bullpet says, first round series most likely opening Sunday afternoon. The Celtics? No. I think I don't think they play next Sunday. I think he's wrong. 
respectfully. Well, because if the tweet reads, you Celtics it, won't learn their first round opponent until Friday night after the play in. They will open that series on Sunday, most likely in the afternoon. It doesn't make any sense. Because wouldn't you want to give the second play-in game team more time to rest and then just start the other games on the Sunday and then put the Celtics on the Monday? You know what well, I'm saying? no, they start Saturday, sense. Sunday. The playoffs start Sunday the 20th. Or is it Saturday? They the sure 20th? don't. They, oh, they Saturday, Saturday the, 20th. the 20th. Okay, my bad, my bad. I thought Sunday was the 20th. No, okay, then you're right. Yes, I know it's the 21st, not the 20th, but I thought Sunday was the 20th. Okay, gotcha. Everybody gotcha, wants gotcha. to see Miami yes. Jack. Yeah, I don't know. My my whole thing was um I know the Celtics will start on the second day of the playoffs, not the first, but I thought Sunday was the twentieth. My bad. Okay, you're right. Mm. <clears throat> when you, Miami Jack, I'm telling you, Miami Jack is just a nice polo with some shorts, and the shorts I don't look good in shorts. So <laughs> I don't didn't you have you like nice like tropical wear for Vegas that you didn't get to wear? Because I had one nice cold? shirt. Yeah, I had one nice shirt. Break out the drip for one game. It would be funny if you showed up like dressed to the nines just to be. I'm impressed. a big. I am a. I am a big bucket hat guy. So you might get me and Bobby Manning oh. with bucket hats. I, I love. I love me a bucket hat. That I do. Bulls, Magic, Heat in that order. I'd rather play Indy than Miami, <laughs> but I suppose. The thing is, like they've had their way with Miami this year. And if you really feel good about it and you think they're going to win in the first round, then it's a really great way to kick off I, a run. Yeah. I think Chris Stops is a complete game changer for a Heat series. It's like yeah. it totally changed. He's a dog. However, I did see somebody on Reddit make a very good point saying, uh, I don't want to play the Heat uh, because they're going to hurt one of our guys. Yeah. It's true. That's yeah. also true. Will the Wizards, Will win, the this Wizards win this real. one? I don't know. Probably not. <laughs> probably I would say, say no. no. Yeah, what is the line? Aren't they 10-point dogs? You told me they were 10-point dogs. I don't actually or know. Maybe, no, Devin Did told I? me they were 10-point dogs. I was going to say, I don't think I looked yet. Let me take a look at uh, the, the book. Here they come, Pritchard and the fellas. You know who threw down a big um, – Big jam pregame. Xavier Tillman threw one down. He threw himself a self lob off the basket. Okay. Mm. Damn that shit. <clears throat> I dunked this. on somebody extremely hard last night with the mini hoop. For what it's worth. Yeah, Celtics are 10 point favorites. You're right. Yeah. That is crazy. I don't care what Walsh's prize picks line is taking over. We might have to take a look at prize picks soon. We're going to do it now. It's a little early, but we can rock it now. Um, Check out. Does not matter to me. Yeah, let's let's roll with it, and then we can get into the nonsense a little bit after. If we have, I mean, we've been talking nonsense for most of the. Actually, we've talked a lot of basketball today. Good for us. Well, it's a it yes. is a big basketball a... day, even though this game means jack shit that we're about to watch. That's true. This is going to be a pull up the laptop game day with the. We got the Hauser. Hauser Pritchard Cornet. That's it. No Jordan Walsh. Yeah, no Walsh. We got Hauser Pritchard Cornet. All right. Pritchard. What is his points? 22, 22 and, a and a half. I like I like the assists on Pritchard more. Do you think nine assists is better than 30, 22 points? Yes. Sure. I kind of like both. 31 and a half. But we can rock with the uh, <clears throat> assists. Well, um, if you go Cornette, 31 and a half points and assists, then you're kind of like coughing up a point because if he's at 22 and a half, well, yeah, and a half would point. only be 31. Well, yeah, but that's the point. Like, if he only gets seven assists, but he gets like 24 points, like you're you're set. But we can go with assists. <clears throat> um, Luke, I like mm. eight and a half rebounds. Yeah, I guess. You see know. him cook on – I mean, does Washington even have a center? No, they don't. They literally don't have a center on the roster. No, it's Anthony Gill. Sam Hauser. Yeah. Points or points and rebounds, I think, is the one. The rebounds is actually not bad either. Five and a half. Do, uh, do points and rebounds on him. All righty. <clears throat> then we need a Wizards guy. Are they? Do they have any for the Wizards? They got to. <laughs> no. Oh, no. 
We do Red Sox. The Red Sox play today. They must. It's a Sunday. They do. <clears throat> do you like any of these strikeouts for Brian Bello? I don't. I don't hate that. <clears throat> I think I'll get six strikeouts. Let me... All right. Let me check. <clears throat> Let's see how he's been doing, though. Let's take a look. We'll do our baseball research. I like the earned runs less stuff? than. He has been. Let's see. It's probably the start of like two games. Yes, he is allowed. He has a four-one ERA, so maybe not. Oh no! Um, but he has he had a eleven great strikeouts. Start. Eleven strikeouts in two games, though. All right, roll with it. I like the strikeouts. Wow! Did you see this? Mm, Gorman walking in through like the front front door to like a, an honor guard, which means like people on both sides are just giving him a standing ovation. No, this where is it? I'll, pull it up. I'll send it to you on Twitter. Or you want me to just pull it up? I'll send it to you. you uh, I can... Yeah, that's fine. You're better. RJ sent us something too. What did RJ sent us? I think it was just Pritchard being the only guy that is playing today. Pritchard's face is just the <clears throat> face of Celtics NBA. How come that is funny? Pete says, I hope PP goes see. hard. Oh, my today. God. Yeah. I almost left our D opens on the screen before sharing it. Let's see. What the, I don't think I, eh, we, you I know didn't what it was. said anything crazy. You know what it was. The right? flag. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, no, I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. <laughs> I thought the wow, last this thing is was incredible. Sketch. Yeah. This is crazy. Oh, my God. It's pretty cool. I'm gonna cry today. It's, a, it's no a, crying in the press box. Oh yeah, there absolutely is. I almost <laughs> cried when Marcus came back. That was closest. Did you go to that but game? I didn't. Yes, you did. Yeah, I did. That was a close one. Jake just tweeted, "2:50 <laughs> a.m. and locked in for the Jordan Walsh." I don't even know how to pronounce this other name, Duel. Just some disgusting behavior. Who is it? Tristan Vucevic? I mean, who is it? No. The other guy. Eugene I, I just told you I can't pronounce it. I know, no. but I, I, is it a Wizards player? Oh, new Rolf Bidum? Oh, owner left He's on the Bulls. What is he talking about? Oh, no. <laughs> Is Jake okay? Jake trying to trying to go way deep into the bag. That was going on downstairs. Is he watching Bulls games? No, he said it's a duel. He's indicating that they will. Yeah, play so I'm saying, should I call him out? Should I yeah, say you watching like, Bulls games too? You stupid. Owner lap a team. He's the Bulls two-way player. They converted to him a standard contract. He's actually a hooper. He's, he's a good shooter. He falls under the um, – could be, you know, Sam Merrill in Cleveland. Do you hear what you're talking about right now? This is why people you, think okay. I don't know anything. He's like the Max – he's like a Max Struess <laughs> type. He's like a – don't know this guy, but he can really shoot, like could turn into that. He's like Max Struess. Uh. <laughs> That's a no joke about players, me, buddy. not you. For what Get normal players, buddy. Come on. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm teaching. Reaching, teaching. Get somebody in the <laughs> comments saying, I don't know anything. I need to be replaced because you're talking about <laughs> on roulette a team. Where is he from, Sam? <laughs> Somewhere not here. You could guess, I think, based on his name. Maybe not, actually. Maybe not. <clears throat> One of those countries that Definitely. used to be Yugoslavia? Or, or the USSR, whatever it is. Turkey, Turkey. Like Croatia, Serbia, Slovenia. It's Turkish. I said it. I said it three yeah. times. It's Turkey. That, that was in one of the – that's in the area. You got the area. <clears throat> is he the only Turkish basketball player? No. Is is Ennis Freedom Turkish? I think he's Turkish. Yeah, he yeah. is. I think there's other guys too. Wait, no, he's not. Um, he's not Turkish. 
No. Nope. What is freedom? Is freedom is Turkish. He's not on this list. He was born in Switzerland. He's Turkish because they have like beef I know with he is. Him. And then the other Turkish guys won't even like acknowledge. Oh. Him. Yeah, he represented Turkey, but he's technically American now. He's born in Sweden, so it's not anywhere in best reference because he got American citizenship, and it was a big deal. Remember? Came with the freedom name. <laughs> Can you name the other Turkish NBA player? The big one. There's a bunch, but the, the big one. Is it like an active person? You froze. Yeah, he's, a, he's like a star. He's borderline all-star. And he's active. In the league right now. Yeah, borderline all-star in the league right now. Give me a minute. I got to flip through in my head. This he was. This was his first year being a borderline all star. To context. Oh, it's Shengu. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, everybody. <laughs> Fuck you, RJ. <laughs> That's not what it is. Leave me alone. Um. What else did I say? Oh. So I was standing there. We're speaking of random NBA players. The Wizards coaching staff. First of all, James Posey on the Wizards coaching staff. So yep. he was here, which is cool. Um, I was looking over. There was this really tall dude. He was like clearly a former player. Um, and I was thinking who he is, and I, I binked his name. Like, I got it. I was like, how? Do, and it was like one of those, like, how do you know that? And I want Former center for the Wizards. Um, actually, no, he never played for the Wizards. He He's known for his time with the Pelicans. But he's on the Wizards coaching staff. He is seven foot two. Anything? You're you're gonna be like, what the fuck when I tell you this name? And then I just fucking binked out of nowhere. I was proud is it of myself. Like, um, because it is known for his time <laughs> on the Pelicans. I say known. He played like 15 minutes a night. Is it like Lewis Munson? Alexis Ajinka. Oh yeah, it's a, it's a good pull. Yeah. <laughs> He was halfway decent for a little while there. Yes, Eli, talk and sees coming at you on the regular schedule. So it's the round table Tuesday. We'll be back for pregame on Sunday. And okay. we might do something with playback <coughs> this week with, with the play-in games. I don't really know what either you of could. our schedules looks like. So we'll have We're to going see. to the Red Sox on Thursday, but outside of that, I wish they would check and play Smoke and Scott. That'd be sick. Imagine they let us dumbasses on the broadcast. We'd be That'd be terrible. I'll parlay today. I don't like doing it. It's got to be tough to do one, man. Yeah, Turkaloo. True. Play and playback. We did one last year, right? For the Hawks. Um, we didn't do playback, but we did a stream for Hawks Heat. Or Hawks. Yeah, we did yeah, a Hawks stream. Heat. But it just depends when the days are because. If it's Wednesday, we're supposed to play basketball. We are? Oh, we are. Yes. What do you mean we are? You when asked you said, me. What? <laughs> I know, I know. When you said Wednesday, I just immediately thought health tracks. That's usually where I'm at. But. <clears throat> That's what I'm saying. Current Celtics team is the future as an assistant coach. That's a good question. Drew. I think Drew would be a really, really good coach. Probably Holiday current. if he wants to do it. Um, yeah. Trying to think, I think Lamar. No, I can't see right Horford wanting to be an assistant. I think Lamar is going to be a really good coach, but he's gone, obviously. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> I think Horford that would be funny. funny. They just got like play. they got three guys holding Jordan Poole for you know what I could look eighty see? something year old Mike Gorman to deck him. I could low-key see um, Sfi being one of those, like, like you know how Corver's like a shooting coach on the Hawks? Like, I could see Sfi doing yeah. that for some random fuck-off team. Like, I, I could see Sfi sure. doing it. He's very, he's very personable. Sfi got mad at me the other day. He got mad at you? Yeah, he took a shot from half what? court, and he looked at me. He goes, did you film that? I said, you didn't tell me you were shooting it. He goes, come on, man. What the fuck? He made it? Yeah, he made it, but I didn't get it because I didn't know he was going to fucking pull it. I was watching something else. Yeah, you should have been like, listen, you tell me you're going to do a trick shot. I'll whip I out did. the phone for you. We can become boys. I told him next time you're going to tell me. You should have been like, I'll... I film your trick shot. You play for a men's league. 
Sfi is one of the guys I think would like. I know ever, they could all obviously dominate a men's league, but Sfi is one of the guys you look at like, like that dude would just fucking murder. You. Like, like you wouldn't looked, realize like, how dominant he would be. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, correct, RJ. Sfi didn't ask you how you're doing. No, I've we're, no more. How you doing? I, I've abandoned it. It's not a thing anymore. We're, it's gone. No more. How you doing? It's gone. It's dead. Anyways, all right, all right let's, let's get out of here. It's one Thank o'clock. You tuning in. Final, yes, appreciate final you for tuning in. <clears throat> recap of this game will be on tomorrow. Timo, you're late, brother. We're leaving. 5 a.m. tomorrow. Recap of this game. See it there. Check out the pod today if you didn't listen to it. Eli thought mm-hmm. it was good, so you guys should probably watch it. Um, we'll be live again on Monday for Talking Seas, or tomorrow, I guess, for Talking Seas at 11. Uh, and Tuesday, roundtable, I think at 6 p.m. We're going back to the original time, 6 p.m. Uh, okay. Thank you all for tuning in. We'll be uh, see you tomorrow. Uh, not live, but yeah, appreciate it. Like and subscribe, all that good stuff. We'll see you later.